The Mississippi bubble was a financial crisis that occurred in France in the early 18th century. It was caused by a speculative investment scheme by Scottish economist John Law, who had been invited to France to help reform the country's finances. In 1716, Law founded the Compagnie d'Occident, a company that was granted exclusive rights to trade in French colonies in North America and West Africa, as well as the monopoly on the French tobacco trade. In 1719, the company was merged with the Compagnie des Andes, which had exclusive rights to trade with the East Indies, to form the Compagnie Perpetuelle des Andes. The company's shares were sold to the public at inflated prices, and soon became the talk of Paris. The company's monopoly on the tobacco trade and its access to the vast resources of the French colonies made it seem like a surefire investment. People from all walks of life, including nobles and clergy, invested heavily in the company's shares. However, the company's success was short-lived. In 1720, the company's shares began to fall in value, and investors panicked, causing a run on the bank that Law had established. The bank was unable to meet the demands of its depositors, and the French government was forced to step in to save the financial system. The Compagnie Perpetuelle des Andes was dissolved, and Law was forced to flee the country. The Mississippi bubble had a profound impact on the French economy and society. The collapse of the Compagnie Perpetuelle des Andes wiped out the savings of thousands of investors, many of whom were members of the French nobility. The crisis also contributed to a general sense of disillusionment and cynicism towards the financial system, which lasted for many years. The Mississippi bubble also had a wider impact on the global financial system. The collapse of the Compagnie Perpetuelle des Andes was felt far beyond France, and contributed to a broader period of economic instability and financial crises in Europe in the 18th century. In conclusion, the Mississippi bubble was a financial crisis that occurred in France in the early 18th century. It was caused by a speculative investment scheme by John Law, who had been invited to France to help reform the country's finances. The collapse of the Compagnie Perpetuelle des Andes had a profound impact on the French economy and society, wiping out the savings of thousands of investors and contributing to a general sense of disillusionment towards the financial system. The crisis also had wider impacts on the global financial system, contributing to a period of economic instability and financial crises in Europe in the 18th century.